Hello, it's Heidi from Fast Track Fit Camp here and it's Wednesday Q&A day and today it will probably be longer than two minutes and it's going to get a little bit ranty because I'm about to get on my soapbox and I think this is a message that I am going to shout loud and proud and beat my drum for for a very long time because so many people still fall into this trap. When people come to see us at Fit Camp, one of the things they say is they want to lose weight. Now I can tell you straight away that you are an expert at losing weight. You know exactly how to lose weight. And you know how to lose weight because you already do it every time you get on the scales. You'll make sure that you haven't got any clothes on, that you've taken your heavy bangles off, that you haven't got your watch on, your Fitbit's on the side, you've taken your earrings out and you've had a wee. All those things mean that you are the lightest you can possibly be. So you know how to lose weight. We're not measuring total body weight here. We're measuring how much body fat you've lost. And this is the true measure of how successful you are on a new food and exercise regime. And it makes me really sad and frustrated all at the same time that people are still using the scales as the way to see how it's working. So often, I will talk to people about how well how well things have been going. They'll tell me that their clothes fit them better, they're sleeping better, they've stopped snoring, they have more energy, their eyes are brighter, their skin is better, their digestion is great, their clothes fit, their boots fit. Everything about what they've done is amazing. Then they step on the scales and they see they haven't lost very much weight and they just go into a self-depressed um, fug because they just feel that they've let themselves down. And it's just rubbish. It's just, it's thankless. Just using that total body weight is your only measure. When you know that everything else you've done has been successful, really is not helping you at all. And what we're measuring is how much body fat you are losing and you can't do that on standard scales you need to have a, a pair of scales that shows you what your body fat percentage is so when people come to see me it will measure their total body weight but I don't care about their total body weight I want to know what your body fat percentage is and how much your body fat weighs so when you come to me and you come and stand on the scales after telling me all these amazing things that have happened and you may have lost a pound in weight I can actually tell you that you may have lost five pounds of body fat and you've built some muscle. That is true success. Your body shape has changed. You've lowered your fat percentage and that is really what you can measure your success on and how well the program is working for you, not the big number. Please stop weighing yourself and thinking that it's the only way to see how successful you've been or how happy you should be that day or what clothes you should wear that day or whether you're going to have a good day or not. It's a number on the scales and having not had a wee or having a heavier pair of knickers on can make such a difference. It really is a thankless waste of time. So if you want to measure your success, do it with how well do my clothes fit? Do they look better on me this week than they did last week? Have I got my en more energy? Am I um, sleeping better? Do my um, knee length boots fit me better? If all of those things can be ticked, then you know it's working. You don't need to step on the scales to validate it. If you want to know for sure, then get on some scales that measure your body fat, and I can help you with that. I will keep on beating this drum for as long as I need to, because I am so saddened by people who use this day in, day out to um, beat themselves up with. Uh, you're beating yourselves up over this, and it really is not necessary. On Saturday, I will be uh, launching a competition here on Facebook for you to win a copy of my book that I wrote last year, which is called Why Wait? How to be happy every day, whatever the scales say. And it's a reminder that you are more than a number, that success can be measured in other ways, and that um, the scales should be a thing of the past and relegated to the cupboard or the dump or to me. I have a pile of scales. Do come and give me your scales if you don't want them anymore. So watch out for the post on Saturday. Do me a favour, get rid of your scales and uh, measure your successes in other ways. Thanks very much. Bye bye.